What's up? What is good, guys? It's Chris back with Houseplant Therapy. In today's video, I want to talk about snake plant care. Snake plants are such a big deal in this hobby. It's like one of the biggest beginner house plants. And I want to give the pure basics and keeping it super simple because I feel like a lot of beginners are going to watch this video and I want you to excel. So this is going to be like all the fat trimmed, all the scientific stuff like taken out. This is like bro science. I'm going to break it down. Let's do it. So as you can see, we love ourselves some house plants and fish aquariums. Uh, by the way, if you guys like fish aquariums, I have another YouTube channel called Palmer Aquatics. We just hit 60,000 subscribers. Da, 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 da. All right. So let's find a cool snake plant. So we will bring this over the table and digest the pure basics on how to take care of this snake plant. First things first, this plant is part of the succulent family of house plants. So what this tells us is that the leaves are full of tons of moisture. And what this means is this, this comes from parts of the world where these plants like to dry out. Um, the, I believe the snake plant originates from West Africa. And what happens is there will be a heavy rain and then it will completely dry out for like a month. So the biggest mistake people make with this, this plant is overwatering this plant. And that's the same, the same with a lot of our succulents. This shelf has a lot of succulents in here. We water most of our succulents like once a month. And if it's winter time, even less. Um, if we're struggling to have some of our succulents get lighting, we'll put them out in a higher lighting setup like our porch here. Ooh, deep breath stress. All right, so the snake plant, it does not like to be overwatered. You're gonna kill this thing so, so fast. Um, secondly, these snake plants like to be crowded in small little pots. I highly advise people to switch over to terracotta pots. Once you get your plant home and it's been like six months and you know that it's doing well, consider upgrading to a terracotta pot because what happens is when you water this plant, this plastic nursery pot, sometimes the water just sits in there and with a terracotta pot, it has a great drainage hole. That's a huge deal. Get yourself drainage holes, terracotta all the way around. Make sure your nursery pot is also drilled. Um, but what happens is when you water the plant in a terracotta pot, um, it drains out the bottom and then it literally, the stone absorbs the leftover water. It's huge. And it allows the snake plant to completely dry out. So the snake plant is labeled as a low light beginner plant. And a lot of people, what they do is they buy it and then they'll stuff it in like the side of their living room. And they're just like, it's not growing. What's going on? Uh, all house plants like uh, a decent amount of light. So get it closer to a window. Will the plant stay alive? Most likely, but snake plants, they're not going to grow. This is arguably the easiest plant in the hobby. And um, just put it in a windowsill or, or near a window where it gets some indirect lighting like four to seven hours a day. This guy is absolutely going to adore that extra lighting. So just to recap on these pure basics, because these are the most important things. First of all, give it adequate amounts of lighting. Second of all, make sure it's in a small enough pot. Uh, thirdly, do not overwater this plant. You're going to quickly kill a snake plant by overwatering it. With those three key things, um, like you're gonna, it's, you're gonna have success a lot easier. Water this thing like once a month to start out. We literally just went three months and forgot to water all the snake plants and they're completely fine. That should tell you something and how little these snake plants need to be watered. And these guys even through little babies. A couple more variables before we go. This is kind of more in-depth stuff. If you plan to repot your snake plant, which be careful because they like to be crowded. So don't just don't jump on doing that. Um, make sure to only go one to two inches above diameter size of the pot that it's in. This is going to be the last thing I leave you with. And this is going to be talking about the soil. Um, if you're having issues with drainage or any of that, maybe think about rechanging the soil. These guys prefer a cactus soil mix. That is a drier medium. A lot of times it's just regular soil, a third of its soil, a third of its perlite, and maybe it's a third of its like uh, sand or just wood or just something to absorb the moisture. I'm gonna keep it at that because it's literally that simple. All you gotta do is get your snake plant, Find, put it near a window with some decent lighting, water it like once a month, neglect it. Do not overwater that plant. Secondly, make sure you have drainage holes on your pot. Thirdly, um, uh, that I mean, literally, it's that simple. Literally, uh, maybe you have to repot it eventually. 
uh, change the soil mix. Guys, this is easy, I promise you. Please subscribe to the channel. I love you guys. Without further ado, 